Virus. We'll show just how close they are. Racing to a cure on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Good morning. It is August 8th, 2020. Welcome to CBS This Morning, Saturday. Stimulus standoff. The weekend begins without a deal between Congress and the White House. With millions of unemployed Americans desperate for help, the president says he'll just use executive orders to solve it. But is that even legal? Election under fire. America's top intelligence officials say foreign governments are already trying to influence our election. What the intel says China and Russia want to happen this November. Academic arguments, science, school and social pressures collide as parents debate whether to send their kids back to the classroom. What the experts are saying amid a new alert about children getting sick. And a heart racing rescue of father and four children trapped by floodwaters. See how total strangers put their lives on the line to get them out of danger. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener. Your world in 90 seconds. This is a flood, economically and health wise, of biblical proportion, and our Republican friends are looking like. They just want to fix a leaky faucet. With stimulus talks collapsing in Congress, President Trump says he is prepared to take executive action. If Democrats continue to hold this critical relief hostage, I will act under my authority as president to get Americans the relief they need. The U.S. has broken yet another unthinkable record. More than 160,000 people in the U.S. have now been killed by the coronavirus. We have to remain vigilant. We're doing very well, but we have to remain vigilant. The United Nations is warning of a humanitarian disaster in Lebanon, with widespread medicine and food shortages after this week's explosion. The top U.S. intelligence official is warning that China, Russia and Iran are all trying to interfere with the upcoming presidential election. China would love us to have an election where Donald Trump lost to uh, sleepy Joe Biden. They would dream, they would own our country. The deadly plane crash in India, the passenger jet skidding off the runway, breaking apart, trying to land in heavy rain. All that. Happy 29th birthday to Mike Trout. He likes to swing the bat on his birthday. Gone! Oh. Happy birthday, Trouty! My family walked into their bathroom and found a snake up the toilet. I lost all trust in restrooms. And all that matters. Biden will not go to Milwaukee at the Democratic convention where there is none. He will accept the nomination from home. His wife Jill is going to get up on a ladder and drop a balloon. On CBS This Morning, Saturday. It's been nearly 40 years since its release, but the song In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins, it is still blowing some minds. These two teenage brothers decided to give it a listen for the very first time. Collins drumming are winning the internet. You heard he said, felt like y'all sleeping on me. Let's wake, wake him up. up. Bill Collins still has the power to mesmerize. He does. That, that woke was, me up. That was good. It was really good stuff. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor, along with Jerika Duncan. Today, didn't see you for six months, and now it's every day. I know. It's great stuff. Six days in a row. It's been great. Uh, Michelle Miller and Dana Jacobson are off. They will be back soon. We miss them. Coming up this morning, the Olympic closing ceremonies were supposed to be this weekend. Can you believe that? The Olympic closing ceremonies. But the yeah. athletes will have to wait another year. We're going to check in on a few hopefuls, including a gold medal winner and a world record holder, about how they're staying in shape and what they've learned about themselves as they deal with this dream delay. Then we'll take you across the pond to Windsor Castle. For generations, this part of the estate has been closed to the public. Well, it has finally opened its grounds for visitors today. And we'll take you on a tour. Then looking for some wine this weekend. How about a nice vino straight from the can? That's right, canned wine is exploding in popularity. And the taste tests are in. We'll show you why the experts say it's not something to turn your nose up at. That is all ahead. But we begin this morning with signals of a workaround for the stimulus bill. President Trump says he is ready to sign executive orders if necessary to tackle the growing list of issues which have twisted Democrats and his negotiators in a knot. Yet, even as he accuses Democrats of holding critical relief hostage, the president says he is still looking to reach a broad agreement with Congress. All this amid new reports from U.S. intelligence officials that hostile foreign powers are once again trying to influence the outcome of the upcoming election. Paula Reed has more from New Jersey, where the president is staying at his golf resort this weekend. Paula, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Last night, the president called a sudden press conference where he signaled that he will take executive action to extend relief on student loans, on evictions and unemployment. 
But it's not clear the president actually has the authority to extend this kind of relief. That's usually left up to Congress. President Trump summoned reporters to his New Jersey golf club late Friday.